the self that appears in self-control as a fruit of the Holy Spirit is a paradox. Apart from Jesus and the Holy Spirit, there can be no self-control that enables us to live the new lifestyle that bears evidence of our new life. Think of what Paul wrote to the Ephesians, Ephesians 4, 22, 23, and 24. That in reference to your former manner of life, you lay aside the old self, which is being corrupted in accordance with the lusts of deceit, and that you be renewed in the spirit of your mind and put on the new self, which in the likeness of God has been created in righteousness and holiness of the truth. In the wonderful words of that old hymn, I Surrender All. Amen. That was written by Judson Van Deventa. There's an underlying confidence in those words of Paul. When I am weak, then I am strong. That's an assurance of the truth. When I surrender all, I gain all. Mm -hmm. He expresses the fullness of that when he writes to the church at Philippi. Philippians chapter 3. Think about what Paul is saying here. Starting at verse 7. Whatever things were gained to me, those things I have counted as loss for the sake of Christ. More than that, I count all things to be loss in view of the surpassing value of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and count them but rubbish so that I may gain Christ, and may be found in him, not having a righteousness of my own derived from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness which comes from God on the basis of faith, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being conformed to his death in order that I may attain to the resurrection from the dead. Okay. When you give up everything, when you surrender all, That's when you give up all your own power, when you give up all your own self-control and give God control, then you know his power in your life. This is the glory. He knew the truth of Jesus saying, so then none of you, none of you, None of you can be my disciple who does not give up all his own possessions. Luke 14, 33. What's your most prized possession? Look in the mirror and you'll see it. That's, that's, that's human nature. The most prized thing you have is, is yourself. And this is why you have to put on that new self. Because otherwise you will join in with the masses in those perilous last days. And become a lover of yourself. Mm -hmm. When you surrender all, you will gain all. That's what Paul is talking about. And he's not talking about, this is not hypothetical. This is not theory. This is what Paul lived. And he said he walked always in the triumph of Christ Jesus. Less is more. A Amen. <laughs> God, our Father, sent his Son to accomplish all that was needed to provide new and eternal life to whoever would believe and receive. That said, the account of Jesus and his friend Lazarus in John chapter 11 is very, very revealing. Yes. After hearing that Lazarus was sick and then had died, mm -hmm. Jesus immediately <laughs> waited. Yes. Then, when he gets there, he prayed to the Father, giving him thanks before the miracle. Yes. Gave him thanks before, before the miracle, right. not after. And Jesus stood before the tomb where the stone had been rolled away and cried out in a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. I am telling you that the Lord is calling us out of the, out of, out of the darkness of this world, even right now. Even though if you come to new life, it is still always that constant movement into the presence, the arms of Jesus Christ in a greater and greater way. That's what self-control is about. It's it's giving up all control. Right. Throwing yourself in. You ever see, you know, a little child throw himself, fling themselves right. off something and into the arms of the father? Right. It's it's trusting in. This is what we talked about, fruit of the Holy Spirit. Spirit, yeah. faith, and faithfulness. Yeah. Our faith is all about trusting in his faithfulness. That if we launch ourselves, he will be there to catch us. That's right. That in like the storm that, that Paul experienced in Acts 27. Is a time to cut loose the lifeboats and place no trust in anything but Jesus Christ our Lord. 
who loves us. What a fellowship, what a talking